Among heating engineers, this is really gonna ruffle some feathers. It's entirely possible to keep your hot water permanently set to 40 degrees, save 50% on your hot water bill, and not worry about Legionella. But this is definitely not advisable for everyone. So stick around while we dive deeper into this subject and find out what works for you and how you can save energy. The argument we often hear from engineers is that we must keep hot water at 60 degrees in order to kill Legionella. But where does that advice come from? How risky is it? And what is Legionella? Legionella is a bacteria that grows in water and if consumed or inhaled, can cause a pneumonia-like illness known as Legionnaire's disease. If you look at this table, you can see there's around 460 cases of Legionnaire's disease per year on average in the UK. Of those cases, 2% are from hospitals occupied by people with weaker immune systems, 51% of cases are from people traveling, and 47% are from the community. The community being offices, gyms, pubs, restaurants, shops, or your home. The most common form of transmission of Legionella is inhalation of contaminated aerosols produced in conjunction with water sprays, jets, or mists of contaminated water sources such as spa pools, humidifiers, and irrigation systems. Not stuff you find in a typical home. So, of these 216 communal cases a year, how many are from a domestic home, or furthermore, hot water stores? Well, we've scoured the internet for data, and although we can see cases of Legionella growth, we cannot find a single case of Legionnaire's disease contracted from a domestic property. We can, however, find many, many cases from commercial properties. Now, because we can't find the data, by the way, if you do have any data, please get in touch or comment and I'll pin the findings in the comment section. Let's be hugely overly cautious and assume 50% of these 216 cases are from domestic properties. Even though they don't typically have evaporative cooling, spas, fountains, or spray humidifiers, that would leave a one in 620,000 chance of contracting it from your home every year. It's also worth noting that risk varies with vulnerability. 75 to 80% of Legionnaire's disease cases are age 50 plus. If you're in the zero to 50 age range, your risk is more like one in 1.3 million if half of the cases were from domestic sources. However, we can find cases of Legionella bacteria existing in domestic properties. In fact, it's absolutely everywhere. In 2017, there was a study by Public Health England infection experts that took samples from 99 showerheads in 82 properties across the UK and found nearly a third tested positive for Legionella bacteria. But despite this, we cannot find any cases online of the disease from domestic sources. The real risk of Legionnaire's disease only comes when Legionella bacteria grows to dangerous levels. So the question isn't how do we prevent Legionella, it's how do we prevent Legionella bacteria growth. To grow Legionella to dangerous levels, you need two things. First, you need stagnant water, meaning the water is not moving or changing. And secondly, for that water to be in the Legionella multiplication and growth temperature range of 20 to 45 degrees Celsius. Eliminate either one of these two things and Legionella simply can't grow. Temperature, we know we can control. But how long can water be left for before it's considered stagnant? Stagnant water is hard to define as it's relative to the store volume and time. For example, water heaters termed as instantaneous water heaters or combination boilers will have a very high turnover. Conversely, larger store volumes or heaters used more sporadically, such as the ones found in more commercial premises, a much higher risk. If you imagine an extra large cold water and hot water store that only a few people wash their hands from each day, this will have a relatively low water turnover and give much more of a chance for Legionella to grow. To visualize this, we've created this graphic. You can see with a large daily turnover, Legionella in the water essentially stays dormant as it simply doesn't have enough time to grow. Most domestic properties will use most of their water capacity every day and are unlikely to stay stagnant more than a typical holiday. However, commercial properties are more likely to be at risk as they can go months without being used or have very little use and then all of a sudden be at full capacity. This isn't just about your store when it comes to commercial properties, it's about your pipe work too. Again, this same graphic can be used. Commercial spaces do have more risk as entire floors, wings, or even just rooms aren't used whilst occupants change 
and pipework could hold water for a long time at 21 degrees C or above if near heating pipes, for example. Conversely, nearly all hot water points in a domestic home will be used, so much lower risk. For that reason, we have the L8 Legionella regulations or the HSG 274, which stipulate all duty holders, that's people in charge of commercial or rental properties to you and me, should keep hot water at least 60 degrees and fit temperature reducers at all hot water outlets. Domestic properties don't have this regulation of minimum store temperature due to being a lower risk. In fact, the only thing stipulated in domestic dwellings regulations is a limit to having a maximum temperature delivered to the hot water system of no greater than 60 degrees, which is in the Part G regulations. So what temperature should hot water be stored at? Here are the facts. Approximately at 0 to 20 degrees, Legionella is dormant. 20 to 32 degrees is slow growth. Optimal growth for Legionella is 32 to 42 degrees, with a maximum growth rate at 37 degrees, so body temperature. 42 to 45 degrees is slow growth again, and 45 to 50 degrees it's dormant again. Around this temperature or above is where we can start to cleanse or pasteurize stored hot water to safe levels. At 50 degrees, 90% of Legionella dies in between 80 and 124 minutes, depending on the strain. Let's call it a worst case of two hours. The rest won't necessarily die after this point, but will remain dormant and won't multiply and remain safe provided the water's kept at this temperature or the water's refreshed. At 55 degrees, 90% of Legionella dies in approximately 20 minutes and 100% is killed in over five to six hours. At 60 degrees, 90% of Legionella dies in two minutes and 100% in 30 minutes. 65 degrees, 90% dies in around 10 seconds and 100% in two minutes. And at 70 degrees, it's instant death for Legionella. So how accurate are your measured temperatures? Let's assume your hot water thermostat is calibrated. Because cylinder thermostats are located a third of the way up the cylinder, the temperature at the top will likely be a few degrees above your target stat temperature due to stratification. Below the thermostat will be between 10 degrees Celsius, the incoming cold water main temperature, and the stat set temperature. But for safety, let's just assume it's all the same temperature. Cylinder stats also have a hysteresis. For example, this common thermostat has an 8K hysteresis or switching differential. So if set to 50 degrees Celsius, we'll cool for heat when the hot water's down at 46 degrees and turn off when it's up at 54. Now you could keep the hot water at 70 degrees and be incredibly safe from Legionella growth. But as the most common place for Legionella bacteria to survive in domestic seems to be shower heads, this won't help as shower water is typically blended down to 37 degrees, which happens to be the perfect temperature for Legionella growth. In fact, anything over 50 degrees can cause scalding and water at 60 degrees can only take one second to cause serious burns. Which brings us on to the other problem, scalding. Setting hot water to 60 degrees for a vulnerable person can be very dangerous. Take a look at this table and you'll see that first degree burns happen in just two seconds for the elderly and the young at 60 degrees. This is exacerbated by the time it takes for the brain to register the temperature, which increases as you get older. An elderly person that only ran the hot tap to run the bath could be fully in the bath before they realize. For this, we suggest following the Part G regulations and not storing at 60 degrees Celsius or above unless you have scalding protection fitted at the outlets. The last consideration outside safety is running costs and efficiency. If you have a heat pump or condensing boiler, the efficiency at your heat source can be increased if lower flow temperatures are targeted. Additionally, a cooler cylinder will lose less energy into the surrounding air. Hot water stored at 50 degrees will have a 20% lower heat loss than hot water stored at 60. So you're probably wondering what bloody temperature should I keep my hot water? Well, if you want a simple answer, stick around to the end of the video. However, as we always say, there is no panacea. And if you want to know the proper answer for your specific property, first, we must do a risk assessment. If you're above 50 years of age or have an autoimmune disease or regularly have elderly guests, then your risk is higher and more caution is needed. Yes, it may cost you more, but it's safer. Conversely, if you don't have temperature limiters at your outlets, scalding is potentially a higher risk, particularly if you have younger children. If you have stored water and you don't turn it over more than say 50% a day, for example, if two of you only have one shower a week, then you are at a high risk of Legionnaire's disease and potentially 
lots of other things if you don't shower anywhere else. In domestic dwellings, all hot water outlets will probably be used regularly, so your pipework is unlikely to need sterilising with 60 degree water. In the vast majority of domestic situations, storing hot water at 50 degrees is perfectly adequate. In fact, 50 degrees is a temperature most hot water controls from Honeywell, Beesman, Valent and Worcester come preset at. If you deem yourself as particularly low risk with high water turnover, the absolute minimum temperature you would theoretically store hot water at is 40 degrees Celsius. This is a little hotter than the average showering temperature, but may be too cool for washing dishes if you don't have a dishwasher. It may also need bumping up a few degrees if it causes issues with mixer taps. If you do store hot water as low as 40 to 49 degrees Celsius, we would suggest at least being aware of anti-Legionella cycles. This is where hot water temperatures are temporarily increased to kill off bacteria that may have formed. If your water is fully turned over once every day or so, this won't be needed. But if you're particularly concerned for peace of mind, you could do a one-off sterilization after a holiday or once a year. Simply turn up your hot water to 60 degrees and run all outlets for five minutes, making sure that you've turned up temperatures past any safety limiters. Heat pump controls often have weekly or bi-weekly anti-legionella cycles built in. You don't need to heat to 60 degrees though necessarily, as any temperature above 50 will kill legionella just depending on how long you run it and how much you want to kill. Using anti-legionella cycles may even persuade you to keep your cylinder even cooler during the week. Be aware though, if you find that you run out of hot water, you may need to bump it back up a bit. So for your specific situation, the name of the game is to keep the store temperature as low as possible while keeping safe. The vast majority of homes will be fine at 50 degrees. But if you want to increase the efficiency of your gas boiler or the scop of your heat pump and reduce the amount of heat lost from the cylinder by keeping it cooler, take another look at this graphic. Here you can see that once your average daily turnover is above 100%, we don't see much of an issue with a minimum store temperature of 45 degrees. If you follow the black line on this graph, you will see the minimum temperatures that we suggest. If you look at the dotted line, you will see the minimum temperatures we suggest with anti-legionella cycles. And this other line here is our maximum recommended temperature or temperature recommendations for vulnerable people. So what does this do for your efficiency? If you have a combination boiler, turning down from 60 degrees to 40 degrees could make your boiler 10% more efficient on hot water production. If you have a standard boiler with a cylinder, by turning down your hot water from 60 to 45 degrees, your cylinder will lose 40% less heat from the cylinder and the pipework. Your heat source will cycle less as the cylinder cooldown is slower and effective hot water coil size is larger. The larger effective coil output and lower temperatures also mean that your condensing gas boiler could be 10% more efficient. And if you have a heat pump, it will be up to 25% more efficient on hot water. If you have a slightly older heat pump that requires an immersion for anti-legionella cycles, that will help prevent that pesky immersion turning on at a cop of one, saving yet more energy. All of this will directly reduce your monthly bills. Before we go, here's a few extra tips for energy saving and keeping legionella at bay. Insulate your loft tank if you have one to maintain a lower temperature. If you do have a cold water store in the loft, make sure your cold feeds to the tank and the draw from the tank are at opposite ends to encourage full water turnover. Reduce stagnation by flushing unused traps. That's the water in your U-bends and your toilets. And insulate secondary circulation pipe work if you have it. For my family home personally, as we turn over around about 100% of our stored water each day, I keep my hot water at 45 degrees and I don't do any Legionella cycles. For more energy saving advice, make sure you watch our 11 tips on saving energy. If you've enjoyed this video, hit like, make sure you comment if you agree or disagree with anything and make sure you subscribe for more content and I'll see you on the next one.